Astika, Sanskrit astika, iast, astika derives from the Sanskrit asti, there is, there exists, and means one who believes in the existence of a soul separate from the material world, Brahman, etc., and nastika means an unbeliever. These have been concepts used to classify Indian philosophies by modern scholars, and some Hindu, Buddhist and Jaina texts. Astika has been defined in one of three ways, as those who accept the epistemic authority of the Vedas, as those who accept the existence of Atman, or as those who accept the existence of Ishvara. In contrast, Nastika are those who deny the respective definitions of Astika. The various definitions for Astika and Nastika philosophies has been disputed since ancient times, and there is no consensus. Buddhism is considered to be Nastika, but the Gautama Buddha is considered an avatar of Vishnu in some Hindu traditions. The most studied Astika schools of Indian philosophies, sometimes referred to as orthodox schools, are six, Nyaya, Vaisesika, Samkhya, Yoga, Mimamsa, and Vedanta. The most studied Nastika schools of Indian philosophies, sometimes referred to as heterodox schools, are four, Buddhism, Jainism, Karvaka, and Ahivika. This orthodox heterodox terminology is a construct of Western languages, and lacks scholarly roots in Sanskrit. Recent scholarly studies state that there have been various heresiological translations of Astika and Nastika in 20th century literature on Indian philosophies, but quite many are unsophisticated and flawed. Astika and Nastika do not mean theism and atheism, respectively, in ancient or medieval era Sanskrit literature. In current Indian languages like Hindi, Astika and its derivatives usually mean theist while Nastika and its derivatives denote an atheist. However, the terms are used differently in Hindu philosophy. For example, Samkhya is both an atheist as it does not accept an anthropomorphic god and Astika, Vedic philosophy. Though god is often used as an epithet for consciousness Purusha within the philosophy. Etymology <inaudible> 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 Astika is a Sanskrit adjective and noun that is derived from asti, there is or exists, meaning knowing that which exists, or pious. Nastika not, not plus astika is its negative. One of the traditional etymologies of the term astika based on Panini's Astadai 4.4.60 Astanastidistamati says he whose opinion is that Isvara exists. Asti isvara iti matir yasya. Other definitions include opposite of nastika, nastika bihina, he whose idea is that isvara exists, isvara asti iti vadi, he who considers the Vedas as authorities, vedapramanyavadi. According to Sanskrit grammarian Himachandra, astika is a synonym for he who believes, as used in Hindu philosophy. The differentiation between astika and nastika does not refer to theism or atheism. The terms often, but not always, relate to accepting Vedic literature as an authority, particularly on their teachings on self soul. The Veda and Hinduism do not subscribe to or include the concept of an Almighty that is separate from oneself i.e. there is no concept of God in the Christian or Islamic sense. N. N. Bhattacharya writes, The followers of Tantra were often branded as Nastika by the political proponents of the Vedic tradition. The term Nastika does not denote an atheist since the Veda presents a godless system with no singular almighty being or multiple almighty beings. It is applied only to those who do not believe in the Vedas. The Samkhyas and Mimamsakas do not believe in God, but they believe in the Vedas and hence they are not Nastikas. The Buddhists, Jains, and Karvakas do not believe in the Vedas, hence they are Nastikas. Astika is also a name, such as that of a Vedic scholar born to the goddess Manasa. Mind and the sage Jarakaru. Topic: <laughs> Classification of schools The terms Astika and Nastika have been used to classify various Indian intellectual traditions. <laughs> Astika Hindu A list of six systems or sadarsanas also spelled sad darshan consider Vedas as a reliable source of knowledge and an authoritative source. These are the Nyaya, Vaisheshika, Samkhya, Yoga, Mimamsa and Vedanta schools of Hinduism, and they are classified as the Astika schools. Nyaya, the school of logic 
Vicesika, the atomist school Samkhya, the enumeration school Yoga, the school of Patanjali which assumes the metaphysics of Samkhya Mimamsa, the tradition of Vedic exegesis Vedanta or Uttara Mimamsa, the Upanishadic tradition, these are often coupled into three groups for both historical and conceptual reasons, Nyaya Vicesika, Samkhya Yoga, and Mimamsa Vedanta. <laughs> Nastika Hindu The main schools of Indian philosophy that reject the Vedas were regarded as heterodox in the Brahmanical tradition Buddhism Jainism Karvaka Ahivika Ajñānatha use of the term Nastika to describe Buddhism and Jainism in India is explained by Gavin Flood as follows At an early period, during the formation of the Upanishads and the rise of Buddhism and Jainism, we must envisage a common heritage of meditation and mental discipline practiced by renouncers with varying affiliations to non-orthodox and orthodox traditions. These schools such as Buddhism and Jainism are understandably regarded as heterodox nastika by orthodox astika brahmanism Tantric traditions in Hinduism have both astika and nastika lines as Banerjee writes in Tantra in Bengal Tantras are also divided as astika or vedic and nastika or non-vedic in accordance with the predominance of the deity the Astika works are again divided as Sakta, Seva, Sora, Gunapatya and Vaisnava. Discussion Hinduism Manumriti, in verse 2.11, defines Nastika as those who revile Vedic literature based on two roots of science of reasoning Sruti and Smriti. The 9th century Indian scholar Medhadithi analyzed this definition and stated that Nastika does not mean someone who says, Vedic literature are untrue, but rather one who says, Vedic literature are immoral. Medhadithi further noted verse 8.309 of Manumriti, to provide another aspect of the definition of Nastika as one who believes, "...there is no other world, there is no purpose in giving charity, there is no purpose in rituals and the teachings in the Vedic literature." Manumriti does not define, or imply a definition for Astika. It is also silent or contradictory on specific rituals such as animal sacrifices, asserting ahimsa non non is dharma in its verses such as verse 10.63 based on Upanishadic layer of Vedic literature, even though the older layer of Vedic literature mentioned such sacrifices unlike the later layer of Vedic literature. Indian scholars, such as those from Samkhya, Yoga, Nyaya and Vedanta schools, accepted Astika to be those that include Sabda, Sabda Aptavakana, testimony of Vedic literature and reliable experts as a reliable means of epistemology, but they accepted the later ancient layer of the Vedic literature to be superseding the earlier ancient layer. <laughs> Definition without reference to Vedas In contrast to Manusmriti, the 6th century CE Jain scholar and doxographer Haribhadra, provided a different perspective in his writings on Astika and Nastika. Haribhadra did not consider reverence for Vedas as a marker for an Astika. He and other 1st millennium CE Jaina scholars defined Astika as one who affirms there exists another world, transmigration exists, virtue punya exists, vice pop exists. The 7th century scholars Jayaditya and Vimana, in Kasikavirti of Panini tradition, were silent on the role of or authority of Vedic literature in defining Astika and Nastika. They state, Astika is the one who believes there exists another world. The opposite of him is the Nastika. Similarly the widely studied 2nd-3rd century CE Buddhist philosopher Nagarjuna, in Chapter 1 verses 60–61 of Ratnavali, wrote Vicesika and Samkhya schools of Hinduism were Nastika, along with Jainism, his own school of Buddhism and Pujalavadins school of Buddhism. <laughs> <laughs> Definition based on belief in Atman 
Astika, in some texts, is defined as those who believe in the existence of Atman soul, self, spirit, while Nastika being those who deny there is any soul, self, in human beings and other living beings. All six schools of Hinduism classified as Astika philosophies hold the premise, Atman exists. Buddhism, in contrast, holds the premise, Atman does not exist. Asanga Tilakaratna translates Astika as positivism and Nastika as negativism, with Astika illustrated by Brahmanic traditions who accepted soul and God exists, while Nastika as those traditions, such as Buddhism, who denied soul and God exists. <laughs> Jainism According to G. S. Gurie, the Jain texts define na plus astika as one denying what exists or any school of philosophy that denies the existence of the soul. The Vedanta sub-traditions of Hinduism are astika because they accept the existence of soul, while Buddhist traditions denying this are referred to as nastika. One of the earliest mentions of astika concept in Jain texts is by Manabhadra, who states that an astika is one who accepts there exist another world paraloka, transmigration of soul, virtue and vice that affect how a soul journeys through time." The 5th-6th century Jainism scholar Haribhadra, states Andrew Nicholson, does not mention anything about accepting or rejecting the Vedas or God as a criterion for being an astika or nastika. Instead, Haribhadra explains nastika in the manner of the more ancient Jain scholar Manabhadra, by stating a nastika to be one who says there is no other worlds, there is no purpose in charity, there is no purpose in offerings." An astika, to Haribhadra, is one who believes that there is a purpose and merit in an ethical life such as ahimsa and ritual actions. This exposition of the word astika and nastika by Haribhadra is similar to one by the Sanskrit grammarian and Hindu scholar Panini in section 4.4.60 of the Astadhyayi. The 12th century Jaina scholar Hemachandra similarly states, in his text Abhidana Sintamani, that a nastika is any philosophy that presumes or argues there is no virtue and vice. Buddhism <inaudible> 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 Nagarjuna, according to Chandradhar Sharma, equates nastikya to nihilism. The 4th century Buddhist scholar Asanga, in Bodhisattva Bhumi, calls nastika Buddhists as sarvavinasika, describing them as who are complete deniers. To Asanga, nastika are those who say, nothing whatsoever exists, and the worst kind of nastika are those who deny all designation and reality. Astika are those who accept merit in and practice a religious life. According to Andrew Nicholson, later Buddhists understood Asanga to be targeting Madhyamaka Buddhism as Nastika, while considering his own Yogacara Buddhist tradition to be Astika. Initial interpretations of the Buddhist texts with the term Astika and Nastika, such as those composed by Nagarjuna and Asvaosa, were interpreted as being directed at the Hindu traditions. But, states John Kelly, most later scholarship considers this as incorrect, and that the Astika and Nastika terms were directed towards the competing Buddhist traditions and the intended audience of the texts were Buddhist monks debating an array of ideas across various Buddhist traditions. The charges of being a Nastika were serious threat to the social standing of a Buddhist, and could lead to expulsion from Buddhist monastic community. Thus, states Nicholson, the colonial era Indologist definition of Astika and Nastika schools of Indian philosophy, was based on a narrow study of literature such as a version of Manumriti, while in truth these terms are more complex and contextually apply within the diverse schools of Indian philosophies. The most common meaning of Astika and Nastika, in Buddhism, Hinduism, and Jainism was the acceptance and adherence to ethical premises, and not textual validity or doctrinal premises, states Nicholson. It is likely that Astika was translated as orthodox, and Nastika as heterodox, because the early European Indologists carried the baggage of Christian theological traditions and extrapolated their own concepts to Asia, thereby distorting the complexity of Indian traditions and thought. See also Notes <laughs>